Welcome to this video about brain trust governance. We're going to walk you through the three steps that you're going to need to take before you can participate in a vote. And remember, follow these steps before a vote goes live so you're ready. The three steps are to set up an external wallet, ensure BTrust tokens are in that wallet, and then connect that wallet to Snapshot. You'll find some helpful links in the description below. Now, for the purposes of this walkthrough, we're going to assume you have already set up an external wallet. But if you haven't, here's a list of compatible wallets that work with Snapshot, our voting tool. We recommend MetaMask, and you'll notice that I'm using a Chrome extension through this walkthrough. It comes in really handy when trying to retrieve your wallet address quickly. To withdraw tokens from your Braintrust platform wallet into an external wallet, log into your Braintrust account and navigate to the wallet page and click on withdraw. You can withdraw a minimum of 10 Trust tokens. I'm clicking on that MetaMask Chrome extension and copying my wallet address. Depending on which wallet you're using, you'll need to retrieve it from that wallet. After you authenticate, you're going to get a notification that an email has been sent for final verification. This is ensuring that your withdrawal is extremely secure. When you get the confirmation email, double check that your wallet address is the same that you intended to send it to. Once a withdrawal is processed, it cannot be undone. Click on the confirm button in the email and it will take you back for one final verification and a final step to process. It can take up to 24 hours for BTrust to actually show up in your wallet and you can check the status by going to the withdrawals history or looking for the confirmation email. Wallets have to maintain a huge database of active ETH tokens, and so it might not automatically recognize the token, even though it's successfully sitting there. So we're going to walk you through how to do this in MetaMask. It's a really simple process, so it doesn't take very long at all. If you're still not seeing it in a different wallet, start with Googling how to add a custom token for that wallet. But here's how to do it on MetaMask. Start by opening up your wallet. At the bottom, you're gonna see import token. You're also gonna see a custom token tab. You'll be asked to add the contract address, which can be found on coinmarketcap.com. And you can also, so you can add the contract address and then you can also add the token symbol and the decimal, which is Btrust and 18. There's also another trick. If you go to coinmarketcap and click on the MetaMask icon next to the contract address, it will also automatically add it for you. You can now see that I have the 10 B Trust tokens that I've withdrawn. As for the final step, go to snapshot.org, click on Connect Wallet, and select the type of wallet you're using. You'll need to sign and verify that it is a connected wallet. You'll know you're successful when you see your wallet address in the top corner. Go to the Brain Trust page, click on a proposal, scroll all the way down and vote. Thanks so much. I hope this video was helpful in helping you get set up to vote. We appreciate your participation in this project and can't wait to see what other governance projects we have in store.